Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This is your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. I want to give a shout out to Notification Gang, Key Talk Gang, even though they're really the same thing for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and like the video and hit the notification bell so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Anyway, so it's begun. The follow train, well, I just say the unfollow train to Ghana has now been initiated. You know what I'm talking about? Of course, first was initiated by the family and then of course now you've got arguably a top five rapper Lil Baby who did he unfollow and then uh, you know even in back of that you've got Lil Dirk that came and did his little words Virgil gonna tell this and now it looks like Meek Mill who's a representative of the Philly Screets has now unfollowed Ghana. I already told y'all what would happen especially after Lil Baby did the unfollow the hip-hop world is kind of like this right like I told y'all last time, if one big artist do it, then the other big artists are going to follow suit. Now, when it was a guy like 6 9 that did something that everybody considered snitching, well, he did snitch and comes out and he stands on that he snitched, they were going to, you know, speak out immediately simply because 6 9 was already trolling everybody. They wanted to see him just get knocked out the paint. So when it happened, everybody was super excited to do it. Gunna, on the other hand, people actually genuinely like Gunna. Uh, before he did something that they see as breaking the street code. But now that he's done something that's kind of seen as breaking the street code, which is the Yes Ma'am video, that's really what did it. That Yes Ma'am video, uh, because a lot of them took pleas, it's just the Gunners. Yes, Mound video came out and, you know, he pretty much said that he thinks that YSL should be completely, uh, you know, disbanded because it's a gang. And then, of course, he came back with that, you know, on Instagram and he made that post pretty much saying that YSL the label, da 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 Anyways, so like I say, the train has begun. There's going to be more and more people that's going to unfollow him. Well, it'll be more and more of the gangster rappers. If it's a rapper that ain't really on that gangster talk like they talk about, you'll be able to tell because those will be the ones that won't follow suit with the rest of the street gangster rappers or what they're doing. A lot of the rappers that ain't really in the streets, they may give you that image, they may be portraying that, they'll still rock with them because they know that ain't really who they are. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because if you really like that and you really go by them codes and really by them rules and really, you know what I'm talking about, got people that's locked up because of particular maybe other people that's on snitch, then of course you're not going to rock with that kind of stuff. But we'll just have to see and continue to see how it goes. You already know. So what it seems like is like, you know, a lot of people at first was kind of waiting to see if Gunna had actually, um, you know, if Gunna was gonna, or if Young Thug was actually gonna approve of what Gunna had did. So everybody was waiting for the voice of Young Thug. But now it seems like they moved past, you know, waiting for the voice of Young Thug to see what he says. And they're, instead of just waiting to see if they need to make an amendment to the discreet rules, now they're just kind of like going by what the, what the rules of the streets actually say. Anyways, Keats All Gang, of course, I've been watching y'all in the comment section. Uh, y'all been saying I need to drop more music. I do got a project coming. It's called Is That Key Talk, and it's actually going to be dropping January the 24th. Anyways, let me know something. How do y'all feel about, you know, what everybody's doing to Ghana right now? Uh, you know, of course, he's getting unfollowed. Uh, of course, in the future, we're going to see more people unfollow him. Actually, I think Ghana uh, will actually start being used as like a marketing ploy uh, for people that's releasing music. For some of the gangster rappers that's releasing music, because anytime a gangster rapper unfollow him or mention his name in a song and attach it to any sort of diss or anything about snitching or something like that, uh, they're going to get posted, obviously, so that he has now probably became a marketing punching bag anyways let me know some coming down below let me know what you think about this entire deal i'm out